This little symbol helped measure the height of Britain down to the centimetre. But you've probably never noticed it. I'm up here at Borough Hill Trig Point, Leicestershire, one of the highest spots around. And it's not just the view that's impressive, it's what's carved into the stone. That is a benchmark, a horizontal line with an arrow beneath it, like this. And it was literally the foundation of British mapping for over a hundred years. Before GPS, before Google Earth, even before phones had maps, surveyors had to climb hills like this one, carry heavy equipment and physically measure the landscape one height at a time and to do that they needed fixed reference points benchmarks chiseled into a thousands of walls churches bridges pubs and trig points like this one starting in the 1800s the ordnance survey the official mapping agency of britain set out to measure the entire country in exact detail to do it, they created a network of benchmarks, over 500,000 of them. Each one showed up a, a known height above sea level, measured from a master point in Newlyn, Cornwall, where the tides come in and out on granite steps and give Britain its official zero. From that single point at sea level, surveyors walked the land with spirit levels and steel chains marking heights as they went hill by hill, building by building, benchmark by benchmark. This one at Borough Hill is part of that grand project. It was about science, military accuracy, and later making sure your town didn't accidentally flood because the engineers built it 20 metres too low. Most benchmarks are much easier to miss. They're tucked away on old buildings, on walls and bridges. Some even had small brass plates. Others were just scratched into stone with a surveyor's chisel. They were known as cut marks. The line at the top marked the exact height and the arrow pointed to it, like an arrow pointing to truth. But here's the thing, they don't use them anymore. Digital mapping, satellites and GPS have made most of these physical benchmarks obsolete. The Ordnance Survey officially stopped maintaining them in the early 2000s. Some have worn away, some were destroyed when buildings were, when they were knocked down. Others are still out there, silent, forgotten, hidden in plain sight. So, next time you're out walking, Take a look at old stone walls and trig pillars, because this symbol once mapped a nation. And even if it's not anymore, it's still there, still saying, you are exactly here. Thank you for watching. And if you enjoyed, this is Sky Explores, so like, subscribe and join us again soon. There you go.